Fam, what's good? It's your boy Coach Nosha returning for you guys. Another sneaker unboxing. All Star Weekend 2018. My bank account's going bloop, 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 bloop. Been an unfortunate thing, man. Today is that black cement three day. Everybody was getting those things. One of the somewhat sleeper drops today. They didn't even have it on shelves at my Foot Locker. I asked about it and they're like, yeah, we got it. All right, guys. Kobe emblem on the top. Something a little bit different. Kobe won Pro Tro. Just a silly word, man. Let's just go with the word retro, and uh, hopefully people will get in their heads over time that these things are made to be an updated shoe that you could potentially play basketball in, you know, nowadays. Um, that'll compete with the shoes that they're dropping nowadays in terms of technology and things like that. This is an old silhouette with updated technology. Something very cool. Um, something I think that, you know, people are kind of clamoring for maybe Jordan brand to start thinking about doing something like that with some of their retros going forward. What do you guys think? I know they're starting to retro some of LeBron's old shoes. As far as I know, they're not updating the technology with those. If they were, they'd be using the word pro tro. In a size 11 black slash white in varsity maze, guys. Bang, all right? City of Pittsburgh things. <laughs> Very dope, man. A lot of different materials, a lot of different um, fabrics going on with this shoe. You've got a tumbled leather um, along that toe box and this outer portion of the shoe on that inner portion is actually new buck. Um, I really, I actually kind of dig that. The contrast is dope, draws your eye to it. That black and yellow colorway, it can either be obnoxious or banger depending on how you look at it. This is a bulky shoe for a Kobe. It wasn't until a little later in the line that they really started slimming this thing down. Now having said that, one thing that I couldn't help notice when they started dropping the Kyrie 4 on the Kobe 1, see, that, see right here, this is really, I think on certain colorways, I don't like this aspect of the shoe. And that's not to say I'm a huge fan of it anyway, but look at that. And then look at the Kyrie. Look how similar, you know, it's, it's almost like they changed the lines. Very similar, isn't that crazy? Um, and then when you look at the rest of the silhouette, especially like the upper part of the Kobe, you know, that back portion of the heel, something that's very iconic to the Kobe one, this right here, right? You know, it's kind of a love it or hate it aspect. Very similar to the Kyrie, you know, it's almost like they chopped a little bit of it off for the Kyrie. Crazy. You know, you've got that pull tab on the tongue of the shoe. A lot of similarities in these two shoes. Anyway, let's get back to the Kobe. Getting back into the materials, you've got kind of like a nylon type on this back portion. Again, as I said, that back heel is kind of a love it or hate it, just like this is. You know, these whatever kind of teeth you want to call those. Doesn't really feature that on the inner portion of the shoe. It's a little bit, a lot more subtle. You got a lot of little target kind of things. I'm not really 100% sure. I have to admit some ignorance on the little targets. Must have been something they were flirting with with, you know, the Kobe line early on. It's on the inner insole as well, right where your heel would rest basically. It says up tempo back there as a lot of the early Nike, you know, player model shoes did, like the early Kobe's, early LeBron's. You've got carbon fiber going around on that back and then right here you know pretty cool again something else to sort of draw your eye to some of the contrasts in the shoe and then of course that bottom very crazy lines going on is this something y'all slept on especially considering everything else dropping all-star weekend i can understand how you didn't want to shell out the money for this today if y'all were picking up those black cement threes that was something that was basically a must you know it, it's not one of those dope undefeated colorways i wish it was man but Took L's on those, unfortunately. That camo colorway is absolutely fire, fam. Smash that like button for me. Shoot me some comments down below. Sub to the channel if you haven't yet. Y'all know what time it is. It's on feet time. It's your boy, Coach Renosha. Appreciate you guys rocking with me. Stay blessed. Peace.
Chucky Beep. <laughs>